God is good. Our faithful Father is good, and He's brought us together again this early hours of the morning, Tuesday morning, just before 1 a.m., interceding daughters of the Most High God. I commend you all, my dear sisters. Thank God for His grace on our lives and the sacrifice that we make to intercede whether we are citizens or non-citizens of Nigeria, but the passion and the fire is burning in our spirits to pray and lift up, insist that the cause of God and the perfect will of God be established and he's using us. Thanks be unto God. So as we normally do, we have gathered to pray, but the Holy Spirit has just given um, a direction and it's concerning Mr. Peter Obi. And at this time, there are voices in his head saying that, you see, this fight is too big for you. Don't think that um, you don't, don't see yourself as a savior that would just come on the scene and make everything all right in Nigeria, make all the trouble and problems go away. You're not capable of doing it. Some people may have thought about it in the past and they didn't go that far or they didn't get far with it. And the voices, or it could be even people as well as voices in the head forces trying to manipulate his thinking and his mind and intimidate him, telling him things like um, he's tried his best already, he's come far enough, he's gotten as far as doing all the campaigns and positioning himself to be one of or the next uh, president of Nigeria. And the people have come out to vote. But you know what? The forces that be will carry on with their decision or their person that they want to be on that seat. It doesn't matter what anybody says, that that is what is going to happen. So they are adjourning him now and um, advising him to step down and leave this fight because it is bigger than him. And it, the reason why I'm able to relay this so clearly as I see it is because it's been said to me before concerning uh, my family and the extended family. And somebody was a bit scared and said, even this fight, the family is too deep into things that you don't understand and is bigger than yourself and is from how many four, four, four fathers past or what all the complications and what they put their hands into. So don't think that um, you as some would say as small as you are, little as you are, young as you are, you can change things all of a sudden. Don't start a fight that could destroy you. And I said to the individual, I have not picked this fight. The Lord chose and he made his selection and he's leading me in the direction. I'm not fishing for information or anything. I'm going by how the Holy Spirit leads. And that's how we've been working. And the Holy Spirit just brought the same thing to me. And he said, that's what's happening to Mr. Pitobi. That's why I'm able to relay it like this. And so those voices are coming to his head. But I believe it's a mixture of the spiritual, the forces, and maybe some, maybe one or two physical minds or voices that could say, you know what, we care about you. You're a young man. The future is bright. You have, you have tried Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And he's just said now, using Mandela, that Mandela at some point, he had people that started the freedom fighting with him and many dropped off, especially when they saw the the threat to their lives and the, the opposition wasn't given in. But one man stood out or stood his ground. The grace, I don't know whether it was God's grace or just some inward strength, some determination to see his people, the suffering stop, and he kept going. His life, marriage, everything was given in sacrifice. In the end, he emerged a winner. It took long, but he won, and everyone's still talking about him and all the respect and all. And I just come in my spirit. So the Holy Spirit is saying that concerning Mr. Pitobi. So those voices are coming. This fight is bigger than you. But let us pray that there will be that resilience on the inside and the, the Lord will fortify him greatly. In the name of the Lord Jesus, he will be strengthened. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus, he will refuse to back down. He will refuse to be discouraged. He will refuse to be to be scared or intimidated by this counsel. Anyone that will not be on his side with that one mind to stand to see this to, till the end, let them leave his camp. We we'll command them, let them, let them drop the, their baton and go away. The Bible said that whosoever lays their hand on the plow, you look back, you're not fit for that for the kingdom. He said this to me. The Holy Spirit said this to me last year. There was something he told me to do, and he said me to say for me to he said for me to do it with such boldness, audacity, not thinking or, or anything. And I was starting to consider, oh, maybe I should tone turn it down. And the Holy Spirit told me of big style for hours. He kept telling me of he said, Yvonne, when I've given you instruction, you do this. When you start to compromise on the the powerfulness or effectiveness of how you should do it, then he used, gave me that scripture. That person is not fit for the kingdom. So I, I apologize and plead as the Lord, I'm sorry. When you say for me to say something, I will say it with the same force that you, you gave it to me. So anybody in his camp that is getting a bit jittery and feeling scared oh are they going to attack my family are they going to do this should i just leave this man alone and jump ship or something let them leave let them leave his camp yeah like uh, my man of god pastor chris who said the kingdom of god is not for sissies we are we are soldiers we are at war and this is war it is it is clearly war so there are more forces there are the angels of the lord on our camp is far greater than Whatever these people have, the stolen money and corrupt lifestyle and the wicked agenda of the devil to sell the country. And we are saying no, 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 a thousand. Oh, glory to God. You see what I'm saying? He's back. He's back. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, my word. The strength came. This, oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The strength came. You see, it leaped out again because I said the evil forces of darkness and the, that, yes. that, triggered, that, triggered, that triggered the reaction. Hallelujah. So let us pray. Anybody that is feeling intimidated and scared and worried, they can, it's fine. They can leave. In the time of Gideon, remember when God tested the army, he said, first of all, anyone that is not able to go with us, you're feeling a bit concerned, your family, you're worried for your safety or the, your, your family, that like you might get killed and your family would not have a breadwinner or a father or brother, What go now, go back. And I think, was it 10,000? Loads of them left, went back home. Yeah. So we, we are sounding the warning, anyone that is feeling scared, worried and say, oh, I didn't think that this journey will get this tough and they're starting to second think it they can go back now they can go back it's fine god bless them they've tried to have supported mr pitobi to this position everyone has the assignment to what level that they are appointed to carry it on to so we do not condemn them at all but the ones that are have been graced or are ready and, and saying they are saying the future that they want a better nigeria than where the country has been and they and they are ready to lay their their lives are sacrifices, though they will not die. But like one man of God said that once you're ready to sacrifice like that, your the armies are located to you for your protection will be will be doubled. The Lord just wants you to make that commitment, that resolve in your thinking, in your head, and by your confession and your action. And you he will ensure that you're protected. But the one that goes back, there's no protection really for you. And you would have yeah, I'll not say any more on that on that front. So let's pray that um the, that is what uh, uh, sorry, that is what the Lord has revealed before. It says that God should open those men's eyes to see that they that is with be, they are more than Yes. They are more than we that is in the world. But so he gave me this Bible verse. You remember, he gave me this Bible verse about about um um uh, I think Elijah, when he said, he said, Lord, open my servant eyes yeah. to see that those that are with us are greater. They, yeah. they are more than they that is with them. Yeah. So that is exactly what the Lord showed me that day. He said, he said I am with him mm. because I saw the host of heaven. I saw the angels that are with him. They were, mm -hmm. I, I don't know how to describe it. They were more like a thousand. Mm -hmm. like, I don't know. If mm -hmm. The king of king was in the front, you know, mm -hmm. with a white horse. Mm -hmm. I've seen it again. And the Hallelujah. thing is just refreshing my spirit. Say, open this eye. Open the servant's eye to see mm -hmm. that they that with Peter Big is more than 
day that is redeemed, he says, you should not fear. Say, mm. I am with him. That's right. That's right. So as a man of God said when he made that declaration, he said that evil, that one, that, that devil's agent, and because the enemy was like taunting, or it was, um, I think taunting was the word he used. If he, if if it's not the word, then pardon me. But he said something that means similar thing. Then he was jesting and like that, that, oh, his man was going to win. And the man of God said, we cut you off in the name of the Lord Jesus. So we decree and declare that that man is strengthened, Mr. Pitobi, that he's strengthened, fortified, encouraged, lifted. And it doesn't matter what voice is, physical, spiritual, in the head, we cut them off. In the name of the Lord Jesus, they will have no effect on him, on his resolve. In the name of the Lord Jesus, he'll keep going from strength to strength. In the name of the Lord Jesus, and we will win. We'll win. Hallelujah. So let's pray and intercede for this presidential candidate, Mr. Peter B., that the will of God will be established, God's perfect will be done. No weapon fashioned against him shall prosper. No way. They do not stand the chance. He will go from strength to strength. We will reject every intimidation. He strengthened in the name of the Lord Jesus. So, let us pray.
Go forward, go forward, move forward, move forward, go forward go in the forward. name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Go forward go in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Go forward, go forward. Make progress in the name of the Lord Jesus. Win, 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 win
in the name of the Lord Jesus. They were slain. They were killed in the land. They were killed. The angels of the Lord had fought and they started to fight themselves as well. Yes. So it will happen this time. If they will not allow peace to reign, if they are, they are insisting on their evil plan and their evil plot, then they will kill themselves. They will, kill they will themselves. fight themselves they will fight and they will themselves. slaughter themselves will slaughter in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. We are warning you now, evil forces, each and every one of you, back off from your evil plan. You've had many years of evil and killings and all, but not this time. Your evil plans will not prevail will not in the prevail. name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. You back off and leave God's elect and leave the innocent citizens of Nigeria to live in peace or you kill yourselves, you yes. fight yourselves, yes. you fight yourselves. You fight in the yourselves. name of the Lord Jesus, Amen. you take the battle to your own camp. Yes. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you Amen. will disagree among yourselves and you will fight yourselves. Yes. As you're insisting on violence and evil, let it fall upon your own head. Amen. But the Bible said the wicked shall fall by their own counsel. Let them fall by their own counsel. Oh God, according to your word, let them fall by their own counsel. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. the Lordship of our Lord Jesus shall be seen and felt and experienced by all. Oh, hallelujah, Ne 
But Lord, if the enemy is insisting on doing otherwise, then we push it to their camp in the name of the Lord Jesus. We thank you because these words that we have decreed concerning Mr. Peter will be that they will stand. He will be fortified in the midst of everything that's happening. He will retreat, he will meditate, he will pray, and he will take direction from the Holy Spirit and no man else. Because in this time, there will be lots of voices saying, do this, doing that. And some will say, this is the voice of reason. Leave this battle, it's too big for you. But no, we will go in the direction that God wants us to go. We do not retreat, we do not surrender. And this is the time where God is saying, enough is enough. And this is my servant, this is the one I've raised up. Like he said, I think it's for Zachariah, Zechariah, Zachariah, one of them, where he said, I've raised up this one, I'll use him to exact my will and my purpose. And that was what he did. He said, I'll strengthen him. And the same way, Ismael, we declare, Mr. Peter, be your strengthened. Yes, yes, and we yes, say yes. in the name of the Lord Jesus, go forward. go forward. In the name of the Lord Jesus, move forward and move take forward. over territories that are left unconquered. In the name of the Lord Jesus, it will be by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. People will not be able to explain or understand it. We've had several testimonies where people took an exam. They saw the results. They did not do very well. They went home and they prayed before the Lord and said, Dear Father, I believe that all things are possible to you. And if you can change these results in my favor, when I get into that school or that location, I believe it's the man of God, Pastor Chris, that shared this. And he said, if you change this result in my favor, the result was already published or it was due to be released on that date, something. But somehow they knew that their name was not on the list and they made a, they went and made this conversation to the Lord. In fact, Pastor Chris said it in the praise thon but he shared it in, in a past message before. And he said, Lord, if you make this change, when I go in there, I'll, I'll do this for you, I'll do that for you, I'll preach to the whole school or, and all of that. He made that vow to the Lord. And what happened was, or did he not write the exam? I'm, I'm trying to think. I'm not getting the full picture. I think there are two different stories here. I'm trying to put in one, two different things, Pastor Chris shared. But anyway, it's, it's, it's they say about the same result. And he said, in one case, his name came up on the list. But go, though God did not want him to go to that school, his name came up on the list because he he'd asked the Lord. It seemed like daring the Lord, isn't it? But it wasn't daring, just saying, Lord, there's nothing you cannot do. And God proved it, and his name came up on the list. I said, oh, yes, Lord, I can go there now, I can go there now, he said. And the Lord said, no, you can't. I don't want you to go there. I did this so you know that everything indeed is possible for me to do. But this is where I want you to go. I think that was one story. But in this other story that the man of God also shared, he said, and there was a delay. The people say, oh, we are supposed to release this result or put it on the list. But hey, this, I think we need to recount or recheck or something. There was a delay. And rather than putting it on the list, they announced it openly. God wanted to make the, ex the promotion or the increase um, evident for all, for everyone to hear it, not just few people read it or see it on the list. And they did in class or in a hall. So God is able to, in areas where... They are, they are saying that uh, Mr. Peter Obi did not win or he did not have enough vote or he needs to get the, the right number of votes from those locations for him to win. In the name of the... I am a... 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 I am
And in the name of the Lord Jesus, we decree and we declare that there will be there will be a supernatural work, yes. and His name and His number and the number of votes will increase in His favor. Will increase in those locations, even mm -hmm. if they have counted and recounted it, and they have put the number in the machine. The next time they will go and check, they will recheck, they will recheck, and they will find that His number suddenly increases. Mm -hmm. It increases suddenly mm -hmm. in the votes. name of the Lord. Jesus. Amen. They will say, what? This man was only 10,000 votes before and the opposition was 200,000. What are we seeing? What am I seeing? Like Nebuchadnezzar saw when the, when the Jews were thrown in Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, he said, what am I seeing? I see four men. Did we not throw, did, did we not put three men there? I can see four men. When they go, that Mr. Peter Beast result, the previous count, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Where, the, where the previous count was 10,000 counts only, they will say, ah, they see half a million. Where it was 60,000, they say, what? We are seeing 600,000. Where it was only five, they are saying, what? We are seeing 50,000. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we, 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 issue, we issue a decree that there will be an, a, a supernatural increase Amen. in the number of votes being allocated to Mr. Peter Obi. We are not Amen. missing words here. We are not saying a particular candidate no we are calling his name clearly yes. that that is the one that we want to happen yes. we are not saying that oh, we are not being general we are being very very specific here yes. in the name of the lord jesus Amen. and we decree that as it happened to shadrach meshach and abednego they put three there but the fourth man appeared yes. the same way where there has been two figures we increase it to three four five six seven digits yes. for mr pito in the name of the lord Lord Jesus, Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus, Amen. so shall it be. So shall it be. It shall not be otherwise. It shall not be otherwise. It shall not be otherwise. It shall not be oh, otherwise. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 And by retreats, we mean. Mr. Peter will be going into his closet to meditate and spend time with the Lord, not retreating from the battle, no. He's just taking time out to meditate in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God.